guys, welcome back to the farm. Thanks as always for joining us. I just wanted to get out here tonight and give you guys, it's an almost three week update on our lambs here. Still bottle feeding strong, but it's not that simple. I feel like I say this a lot, um, but the last 24 hours, it has been crazy. So this little girl right here, Daisy, um, well, she wasn't here this morning. Where do you guys think she was? Quite honestly, guys, I, I, I don't know where she was. So the story goes, last night I come home from work. My wife and the kids were out um, at my daughter's swim lessons. They come home, let Hank out, Hank our golden doodle. You guys who are not familiar with the channel, he's our golden doodle, our puppy. Um, he's out running around. I come home, couldn't find the dog. So we start looking around. Alora walks around the back of the, the porch and she calls Hank. He is in here with the sheep, kind of about where we are now, um, just down here over the ridge line. And next thing you know, Boots comes trailing out behind like they were the best of friends. And Daisy, Daisy was nowhere to be found. So immediately, you know, panic sets in. I'm thinking, gosh, the dog got, got our lamb. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, he doesn't have a, a harmful bone in his body. So is he really gonna hurt these lambs? I quickly grabbed him, got him in the house, um, and then we started looking for her and very quickly um, realized I couldn't find her. I, I didn't know where she was. We saw bouts where they were kind of at and no signs of a lamb. So fast forward, you know, two hours later, we're walking around with spotlights looking for this lamb. Part of me thought maybe, maybe she got spooked and just ran off. The other part is maybe she was in shock somewhere so she wasn't you know kind of calling out to us we had boots we put him in the crate and we made sure he was okay but as the night continued you know we kept searching and you know more and more doubt just kind of crept into my mind as as we were out it was a total of probably about two and a half three hours just searching for her and i went to bed last night pretty upset guys just not knowing where this lamb was in the back of my mind, I had this feeling that she was out there somewhere. And I think that was the hardest part, you know, just circling the block. I was up on the road, you know, checking the top road, all the woods that's not fenced in here. And I just couldn't find her. So finally, you know, we had to, had to call it. It was about 930. We went in and kind of gave up hope there. Um, I did, ironically enough, I was talking to my wife this morning and she's having dreams that she was going to show up. I was having dreams that I was going to come over to bottle feed here in the morning and that she was going to be here. And I come out only to be disappointed. She was not here this morning. Um, so really, you know, kind of a, a devastating start to your day. It's going to be a beautiful day. And, and here we are pretty much counting out um, and, and another loss on our farm, which at that point I'm thinking, man, we've had a number of losses here. It's been a challenging year. You know what are we doing wrong what's going on here you know kind of blaming ourselves in a lot of ways that there's you know are we doing something that we shouldn't be that we're not taking good care of these animals so it was a, definitely a struggle mentally off to work i go um at work for a little bit and next thing you know i see a text my mother-in-law was here uh, my wife and i were both working today my mother-in-law was here and next thing i get a text guess who's home or look who's home. I can't remember word for word what it said, but it was a picture. Um, the first couple pictures didn't come through and I'm sitting there like, I think I know, but I don't want to be too sure and get too excited. And then finally the picture came through. It was my daughter um, bottle feeding Daisy here in our kitchen. Um, and it turns out, um, you know, a very generous woman found, found Daisy out the road. Honestly, guys, probably a good quarter to a half a mile um, out the road. It's a, honestly, it's a miracle that she survived last night and, and, and made it. And the fact that somebody was nice enough to actually um, stop it and see an animal like that, pick it up, and then kind of have the wherewithal um, to, to look around and ask around on, on where that animal belonged. I thought it was very impressive and I'm certainly very appreciative. But it's been a crazy, uh, I'd say, what, 24 hours here. Thought she was a goner and needless to say, here she is. So we're just extremely excited to have her back. You know, I never, I just said to my wife on the way over here, I never was so excited to see a little lamb, um, just knowing that she's still alive and, and she's still here for us. So now we just gotta make sure she stays. Come here. <laughs> so 
So anyway, the, the update you guys came for, uh, that spot's kind of staring me down here. Um, these lambs, those of you that are not familiar, Daisy here, um, who will be our future you and staying with the flock. And then Boots behind my wife here with, on the camera. Um, they're about three weeks old. Friday will be three weeks. They're bottle feeding strong, so everything's going as planned. I'm really happy actually with how it's going this time around. So can't complain. The growth is uh, exactly as we'd want it to be at this point. I know it's getting dark here. We're feeding them about, uh, what do you say? It's about three times a day right now. Or like five hours? Um, every five hours. Four we had five? started off feeding every two to three hours. Um, now we kind of spread out the feedings a little bit. So over time, we'll eventually space it more. Um, if you read, um, anyone that's ever had milk replacer, <laughs> every packaging is different. I think we've gone through three different uh, milk replacer brands since we've had sheep. Every packaging says something different. So you got to really kind of figure how much volume they're getting at a time and, and kind of go off of that. But they're growing well. The big thing is you kind of just monitor how they're reacting. If they seem hungry, you know, maybe feed them a little more. Um, and you also don't want to overfeed them. You don't want to force feed them. That's when you end up having um, issues with bloat and things like that. So um, just feed, feed to their hungerness um, and kind of go from there. But so far it's been really smooth. We are still waiting on lambs up here from our ewe lammy. Um, I think she might be kind of a cycle behind um, that of our last ewe here with the lambs. So it makes sense. It's about three weeks uh, um, since that point. So hopefully expecting lambs any day from As far her. as the other sheep behind us, I'm still waiting on Brownie. Not sure um, whether she was bred or not. She certainly appears to be definitely starting to widen out. But I've said this a lot before, guys. You pretty much have to wait until those last few weeks to really know if you're playing the observation game, to really know if they were bred. Um, you obviously can run tests on sheep as well. Um, not really the most cost-effective thing. If you're... Why are they jumping like that? <laughs> and they're having a good time behind us. But anyway, all is well here. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing behind us. Just jumping around. Um, but really happy to get Daisy back. You know, it definitely, again, the, the feeling of losing an animal like that is, um, it's honestly, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. So the fact that she showed up on the doorstep literally today, um, was, it was pretty amazing. There are still good people out there. It's also good to know that. As a safety precaution, we're still putting the lambs in a crate for the night. Um, that'll be kind of the norm for us going forward, at least for a while till they have um, some substantial size on them. They actually slip right through the, the high tensile. Um, the, the gaps, they're really not that big, but being that the lambs are so small, they will slip through them. And being that they're so accustomed to us, you know, we'll feed them, we'll walk away, and they'll actually kind of follow us. Um, and that was another concern of mine yesterday, but doesn't matter at this point. They're home safely. Um, so we're definitely uh, happy, to, <laughs> happy to have them. So anyway, guys, that was your three week update. We will be sure to keep you guys updated along the way. Obviously it's getting dark, so I apologize for the quality of this video, but again, felt the need to get this one out there being that we had, um, I guess you'd say a traumatic experience here. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, as always, um, please consider supporting our channel by hitting that subscribe button, liking this video, sharing it and so forth. You can also check out the links that we'll put below, all sorts of things we use on the farm all the time. And we really appreciate your support, guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.